Hello. We are going to make a shoe fly pie, which is something that I grew up making with my grandma. We have it for my birthday, my grandma's birthday, and my dad's birthday every year, and Christmas, and thanks. Do we have it for Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving? Yeah? Christmas? Yeah, Thanksgiving too. For birthdays with them at once. And it's my grandma and my dad's birthday today. And we she already made us a pie, but I wanted to film it for a YouTube channel. And also, we almost finished it. So, And we still have dessert tonight. So we're going to make another one. And this recipe is just in your head right now, so better take notes. And we're going to start with uh, the pie crust. Pie crust first. Okay, in a big bowl, we put, um, first we're going to put um, a cup and a quarter of flour. We a have cup? Get, yeah, and I forgot to get the quarter out. Of it. A cup and a quarter of flour for the crust. So, shoe fly pie is... A Pennsylvania Dutch pie. Like a breakfast pie. A breakfast pie. That Amish people have. No, no. That's, that's different. Amish is a, is, a, is a religious and cultural group, but this is just plain Pennsylvania Dutch. Okay. Yep. But we've seen it in Amish places. Oh, sure. Because that's what people expect when they're tourists come. Oh, you have a knife. And it's basically a molasses pie. If you don't like molasses, you'll definitely not like this pie. Also, if you're trying to lose weight, you definitely will not like this pie. Because it's basically, it's like pecan pie where it's just like sugar. Okay. <laughs> True pie is not made with caro. It's made with molasses. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, um, now we do uh, a pinch of salt. A pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. just, you know, just a little bit. That's good. Pinch. Mm -hmm. Or more. Uh, then we need half a cup of. Half a cup. Oh, where's your pastry blender, by the way? Oh, I don't know. We'll All have right. to ask mom and daddy. Uh, okay, I'll look around. If you don't, you can always use two forks. Okay. And we're doing a half a cup of Crisco or vegetable shortening. Where are you measuring uh, spoons? This? Yeah, this. Excellent. I, I, I so amazing. Very good. And this is the most annoying part about Actually, there's a lot amazing. of annoying parts. They couldn't see them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> And you just do this for five minutes, well, or however okay. long it takes you. It's, it's supposed to, they're supposed to be the size of peas. Yeah, the, the finished Crisco oh. is supposed to be the size of peas. And uh, for the best kind of, for it to work the best, you should have your shortening uh, refrigerator. Oh no, this is not refrigerated. That doesn't make it, it just makes it harder. <laughs> All right, uh, get your get your knife and get the get this stuff off of here. Yeah, that girl. She said that she does it. <laughs> okay, and then what? And, and then, then we take. And then you're gonna do the crust while I do the crumbs. The way he's doing the crust. <laughs> right. I think I've been engineered into that. Uh, we need a tablespoon here. Okay, we're putting a tablespoon of ice three. water in. Three. three tablespoons of ice water in. Three. And let's see what we're doing here. Yeah, get the size of the size here. in here too.
And this will count as my uh, my workout today. Definitely. All right, scrape it all out of there, and we're going to start to add the water. I'm making a mess. Sure, my cooking is mess. Baking is mess. If you don't like messing cooking or baking, you should find something else to do. Okay, that's good. Okay, you got it. Mostly. Okay. Good. Um, I'll, I'll put in the water and you... This is what's going to make it all stick together, okay? Okay. Bounce around a little bit. And uh, here's another one coming up. I hate that noise of the, the fork next to the bowl. I oh, do you? Yeah. Next time, get a Pyrex bowl or something like that that's not metal. All right, and here we go. Why don't we put more water on? I am. I was going to say, it's always so hard to make the crust. Yeah, it is. And I, I used to do much better. Now I just paste it all together, and it tastes good. <laughs> you, you don't want to you don't want to roll it a whole lot. It makes it hard. Tough, tough crust. You want flaky crust. To do it all right, where do you roll? Do you roll it right here on your counter? Yeah. Yikes. All right. Some people have a floured rag or a flour floured piece of muslin or something. Do you want some Pastry. flour? Yeah, but let's make a place for it, okay? Rides on 81 degrees. Okay, you're going to get partial credit for this, Mary. I have right now my phone. Oh, oh, we do have it's, a it's too late. We already put it on the thing. Oh, damn. All right. You want to excise the swear words from the YouTube? No, it's okay. You can swear. Yeah, well, I need that. Okay, now you're about to watch some magic happen. Well, not really, but uh, uh, semi-magic. How's that? Everybody who's really skilled at crust can turn it off now. <laughs> if you're skilled at crust, turn the video off now. All right, okay, go ahead there. I have to do it? Okay. It's like really crummy, so it's really hard to stick together. Well, that means we need a little more flour. There's some flour over there. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can fix it. Is it even? Okay. I'm going to make a pickle of flour. Okay, go ahead. Put your muscle on. But then it breaks it up. stuff out on the edge here. That's it. Bring it from the outward in. Oh, that corner. I ruined it. No, you didn't. You can't ruin crust. Let's see how, let's see it's a little thick there in the center, right? So let's, let's put some muscle on. That girl. Good. I think we can put it in the pie pan now. There it comes. You know, if you're really skilled at it, you roll it around on here and then just you flip it out on the. But I'm not. I've done a lot, but I'm not skilled. Here we go. Ridiculous. Uh, let's <laughs> take it off. 
Hey, uh, you want to roll out a little bit in the center there, so I guess it's a... Okay, so this is how she does the crust. She, we take off little pizza pieces of it yeah. and just kind of puzzle it together yes, on it. Yes, we do. <laughs> and tell me, tell me true, has it ever made any difference in the taste no, of the pie? No, I guess not. What do you mean, you guess not? So you know there is no just for... Okay, let's see if we... Oh, oh my gosh. Too bad we didn't have that yeah. uh, thing we could roll it on, huh? All right. Some people got a really nice artistic edge on it. We're not known for that. <laughs> we're known for the abstract edge. No, we're just known for the taste. It's, it's contemporary art pie. There you go. <laughs> okay, should I start the crumbs? Should I just try do it in the same bowl? Sure. Okay, what, what goes in first? All right, uh, two cups of flour. Does your oven heat up? Pretty good. All right, then we, mine's a slow one. So what do you, what would you like it to be? It, it starts off at 450. So two cups of flour for the crumbs. And we're setting the oven to 450. All right. Okay, what's next? Sugar? Um, then you do a uh, half a cup of brown. Half a uh, cup of dark brown sugar if possible. Okay. And you yeah, have yeah. to... If you only have light brown, you use that. Do you want me to put it on now, Jay? Yeah. And pack it in. Make sure to pack the brown sugar in. I'll put it on the bottom. 425? 450? 450. 450. All right. And then, Marie, wh where's your little pan that we can heat up water with? A pan. Oh, it's under me. Like that you make oatmeal with, Mom. What do you mean? Why can't I just heat water on this? This? What do you mean, heat water? Uh, I just... I just need like a, a about pot. a cup of boiling water. So you want me to just yeah, put sure. water in here? Sure. You want me to measure it? Well, no. If you right think it, we're going to measure it out to three quarters of a cup, so if you put a cup in there, that'll be fine. Okay, then what? Half a cup of white sugar or a fourth a cup? Half a cup. All right. Two cups of flour, half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of white sugar. All right. And. Oh, did it? No, it's still going. You mix it up with that. And you get half a cup of white sugar. I'm getting some shots here. That's good. Oh, good. You can see our measures are impeccable. <laughs> All right. Um, Don't we need to put Crisco in it? Mix up. Well, just mix it up a little bit and then put a third of a cup of Crisco. Okay. And then a third a cup of Crisco. Or vegetable shortening. If we're not pushing a brand, then we say something like that. Or vegetable shortening, because my grandma says that Crisco isn't sponsoring us. That's the brand, that's what I use. Don't tell them you use it unless Crisco's going to pay you. Oh. This is so long, but we don't know each other or anything. No, that's how, that's how the, that's how it works, though. Nowadays. If you're famous. And you're, you're famous. Really? Well, if someone wants to make your shoe fly pie, and they want to know what's the best kind of shortening to use. They can ask. And I, I will tell them what the best is. I can tell them what I use. You gonna pour that in there now? For no, I'm gonna pour it in here, but I can't get the lid off. I have another thing. Okay, and then you're you're doing the same thing you did with the the crust, but with the crumbs now. And you're just 
gonna mash this <gasps> in with all the sugar for a long time. This stuff is amazing. All right, Jam, you pour it in. I'm gonna get a boomerang of that nastiness. And my mm. mom is harassing us trying to get boomerangs for her Instagram. Stop it. Mom, stop. You're gonna spill it. Okay. All right. I'll do that, and you're gonna put three quarters of a cup in there. Oh. Let's get a picture. Hi. No, it's not. It doesn't go in there now. In a Pyrex cup or a measure, you can put three fourths cup of molasses in. Mm -hmm. and then you're gonna lick the edge so it doesn't drip. And then you hold your tongue and you say molasses on the table, right? You hold your tongue and you say molasses on the table. Good, all right. Now you pour that into this over here. Take a pull out. Pour the molasses into a bigger one. I know it doesn't really make sense, but it'll make sense in a second. All right. Do you have a spatula? Yeah, in there. No, no, no. In, up there, up there, Graham. Yeah, in there. And here. Uh-huh. Okay. Put as much out as you can. All right. Of hot water. Then you're putting three quarters of hot water. You... That's for you. Oh. Okay. In the same one that you just poured the molasses from. And this helps to get all the extra. Yes, three quarters cup. It says it right there. Dude, my close up glasses is on too. All right. That's good. Okay. And then you stir it around a little bit. Then you stir it in with the hot water and you add um, how much baking soda? Three quarters. Three quarters. Three quarters of a teaspoon. Okay, so here we go. Three quarters of a teaspoon to the uh, baking soda to your molasses and water and hot right, water. Here we go. This is like chemical magic that's coming up here. Yeah, we're about to make a volcano. And it's going to bubble. Oh, that would have been good. All right. All right. Then. And then you're going to pour it, and you're going to pour it in here, so we don't. You're going to pour it into pan, but you're going to pour it on something so the heat doesn't hit the pie crust. And, and then make, make a hole in yeah, it. Yeah, and make yeah. holes in it. Sorry, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm probably talking over you a lot. No. I'm just trying to repeat. No, no. What, we're, we're doing all right. I just want it, like people to be able to hear it, but then I don't know if people can hear it, and then they just hear me like repeating what you say. No, but no, this is collaborative. This is not Rachel Wright here. <laughs> okay. And Let's... you lick the bowl whenever you get a chance. All right, and mm. let's, let's get the crumbs going here. Mm, the crumbs are done. Sure. Right. And then you take the crumbs that you made. With your hands, and you start from the outside in, remember? With your hands that you just licked. You want to share your germs with your family members to heighten their immune system. You take it, and you start in the outer edges and just, like, put a layer down. Because we're sort of trying to seal it so it won't... So it won't go over the bottom of the, you know, the oven. Yeah, because the molasses will come boil out and then overflow and then drip onto the bottom of your oven. Well, I hope not. Yeah. You broke the seal. No. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm doing a bad job today. No, you're not. It's it's very random. <laughs> you know, if you want it if you want it to look really professional, then you work in bakery, not here. Am I working here? Yes. How much do you pay me? Not much. My love. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 
The crumbs are the best part, so make sure to evenly spread it because I'll be mad if I don't get a slice with very much. That's it. Don't that. Let's see, is there any extra in there that you want to scrape out? Yeah, it's of just course. like pure flour though. Okay. That's all right. Now, let's see if the oven's at 450. Okay, then we're going to put it in the oven at 450 for how many minutes? 10 minutes. For 10 minutes, and then we're going to change it to a different temperature. 10 minutes is over, you're going to do 350 for 20 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 20 minutes. My mom made a, a banana bread. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. Watching her twitch.